Hi guys! Yesterday we discussed inclined planes and just so that way you remember, I'm going to show you the picture again. That's our inclined plane. Reminder, an inclined plane is a simple machine with no moving parts. It is simply an even sloping surface. The easiest way to remember this might be to think of the word ramp. Today we're going to learn about wedges. A wedge is a triangular tool often made of metal, wood, stone, or plastic. It is thick on one end and tapers into a thin or sharp edge on the other end. Technically, it is an inclined plane or two inclined planes put together to form a triangle that moves. A wedge may be attached to a handle to make it easier to use. Good examples of wedges are nails, knives, axes, and even your teeth. A wedge can be used in many ways. To cut is if you're using a knife, to split if you're using an ax, to tighten and hold back if you're using a doorstop, to hold together if you're using a nail, or to scrape like the blades of a snowplow or farm grater. Wedges work by changing direction and force applied to it. Here's an illustration to help you out. I'm gonna have a little picture for you here. From above, you can see that the force applied to the ax is going to push the triangle down into it. So this force is gonna push it down. And then the triangle shape of the wedge is going to redirect that force and cause the wood to split. So the force is directed downwards, but the wedges direct the force sideways as it drives into the wood, and these are gonna split. And that's how our ax splits the wood. Okay. A wedge can be a single wedge or a double wedge, and this is where we talked about um, it can be one inclined plane or two inclined planes put together, creating a triangle. So each one does a slightly different job. An ax is a single, I'm so sorry, an ax is a double wedge. So an ax is going to look like this. And do you see how it's got our inclined plane? There's our first one. There's our second one. And a chisel would be a single wedge. So it would look like this. And do you see how that's a little pointier because it's only the one? The trade-off. We said every simple machine has a trade-off. The longer and thinner a wedge is, or the sharper it is, the more work it does with little effort. If the wedge is shorter and it has a wider angle at the tip, one needs more force to do the work. The mechanical advantage of a wedge is higher when the wedge is longer with a thinner tip. Wedges have been in use for millions of years. Earlier humans used wedges of, used wedges of hard rocks and stones to hunt, like spears cut and trim trees, and carve tools. The concept of wedges is also used in jets and modern cars. You will notice that jets, fast cars, speedboats, and trains have pointed noses. Noses is the front end of the vehicle, right? This helps them cut through the air. Air acts as a resistance. Remember our paper airplanes. The feature of pointed noses cutting through the air is known as aerodynamics. Okay, that's it. That's it for today. Tonight's homework, you're going to complete the wedges worksheet. You're going to tell me what a wedge is. That's going to be back at the beginning of the video. So go all the way back to the beginning. You can tell me the ways there are, I think I gave you five. One, two, three, four, five. I gave you five ways in which a wedge can be used for. I want you to list three of those. Um, the next one, you're going to fill in the blank. And it's going to talk about this drawing right here. So go back if you need to. Go back to that drawing and hit pause. Number four is a true and false. Number five is going to be towards the end of the video. And number six, you're going to list the five simple tools we discussed so far. This is leading up to your essential question because tomorrow I'm going to have you list all six simple tools and give me an example. Today, just list the five. If you have any questions, send me a message or get on a Zoom call. Bye guys. See you tomorrow.